This video addresses posting deposits. Deposits may be posted to an existing reservation. They may also be posted to a customer profile for later usage as well as posted to a new reservation when creating and saving it. To add a deposit to an existing reservation, locate it in the screen and select the Deposits option. In the following window, you would see a list of any other previously posted deposits to this reservation. Those may be edited or deleted if you wish. To add a new one, select the Add button, select the Payment Form, put in a reference such as partial payment or full payment, as well as a deposit amount. Reference PO and memo are not required, but they are suggested as it makes it easier for tracking deposits later. If the customer has an existing credit card already in their profile, you may select it from the list. If they do not, you may add a new one if adding a credit card deposit. If you are using the electronic processing integrated into the Fast Track program, once you have the credit card information in there, as well as a CSC security code, simply click the Charge Credit Card option and you will be provided with a credit card approval number which will be populated into the appropriate box. If the charge is declined, you will receive a message across the top indicating that it was declined. If you are manually posting a credit card deposit and not utilizing the integrated electronic processing, you may simply click the OK button and it will post the deposit to the reservation. By selecting any of the other options, enter in the reference and amount and select OK. You may also select if you wish the passenger to receive a record of the deposit. By clicking OK, you will then see the deposit has been posted to the reservation as selected previously. In creating a new reservation and wishing to post a deposit to that reservation upon completion, at the very bottom of the reservation form after you have filled out all of the information you will see an option that states add new deposit on save by checking this box when you click the OK button it will then save the reservation and open the deposit window enabling you to post a deposit to the newly created reservation you may also post a deposit to a customer under the customer management locate the customer you wish to post a deposit to and by selecting the edit option select the deposit section and in this window you are able to post a deposit for future reservations you may also edit and delete any of the existing ones. This concludes how to post deposits to existing reservations, new reservations, and customer profiles for future usage.